It's a pretty crazy occurrence when the best player on two servers has no transparency or information surrounding a bug that has potentially cost him games before. In Freak's 13.20 patch rundown, he discloses that there was a bug inside a jungle experience mechanic. On live, as most or all junglers should know, you have a lane minion experience cap where you get 40% minion experience from level 1, scaling to 75% up until level 14 where the cap is removed. But that's how it's meant to work anyway. In this clip, we see Agarin, the rank 1 jungler in EU West and Korea, discovering this bug after it did come and gone, which of course he was very confused and frustrated about. Then, shortly after the discovery of the bug, he learns that the cap is about to be extended by a lot as of 13.20. Check it out. So currently on League of Legends, um, you gain 40% uh, XP from lane minions. If you have a jungle item, you get 40% XP from lane minions at minute 1. Um, up until minute 14, we're at 75%. I mean, that jungle works with every minute, yeah. <laughs> um, of the XP from lane minions, and then the rule goes away. Um, unless there's a bug, if you finish your jungle item before 14 minutes, you lock in your XP bundle for the rest of the game. So I fixed that bug. Uh, sorry, what, what the fuck happened? But there's also XP anti version important. 2, which is the other way around. So currently on League of Legends, um, you gain 40% uh, XP from lane minions. If you have a jungle item, you get 40% XP from lane minions at minute 1. Yes. Um, up until minute 14, we're at 75% um, of the XP. Up until minute 14, we're at 75. And after minute 14, you get the full amount. Yes. Minutes, and then the rule goes away. Um, unless there's a bug, if you finish your jungle item before 14 minutes, you lock in your XP bundle for the rest of the game. You lock in your XP what? So I fixed that bug. Um, unless there's a bug, if you finish your jungle item before 14 minutes, you lock in your XP bundle for the rest of the game. What? I swear! I had this so many times! I got fucked by this so many times! And I didn't even realize? I was so proud! Yeah, I have my jungle item finished before minute 4, like at 13, 14. Oh my god! And you're punished? For that? Now what the fuck? So I fixed that bug. Um, but I yeah, thanks for fixing it! Change the rules from 40 to 75 by minutes 1 to uh, 14 and say it's gonna be 30% to 100%. From minute one to twenty, it's going to be a much longer. Oh my god! Why? But I have ape as teammates. I need to push outside. I need to push. <laughs> longer smooth scale, and instead of the rule going. Away, oh my god, god! That's so bad. So, just in case you didn't quite understand the clip, the bug basically happened if you were really ahead and snowballing as to evolve your jungle item before minute 14, where you would lock in the 75% minion experience cap for the rest of the game, which is actually crazy. And the nerf ride is proposing for junglers is 30% minion experience at minute 1, scaling to 100% at minute 20. While it makes for a more linear minion experience cap, it's an extra 6 minutes where junglers still can't really touch side lanes without robbing their teammates of value. For a 13.20 comparison, you'll be getting around 80% minion experience at minute 15, where on live, you'd be getting 100% at minute 14. So yeah, it really looks like Riot is putting the foot down pretty heavily on jungle. If you want to watch both Freak's video and Agarin's reaction, they'll both be linked in the description. So in one of my most recent videos, I've shared experiences from players where the ping and communication changes have literally cost them kills. Like, not being able to talk to your teammates has affected the game, but none have been as clear as this clip from Azap, where he's unable to draw the attention of his jungler. Check it out. Are you kidding me? Cartus! Cartus, do it, Cartus! I can't pick his own! I can't pick Cartus! No! <laughs> oh, nothing. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> so, granted, Karthus had like 2% mana and maybe couldn't even cast ult, but maybe if he was watching the fight like he clearly wasn't, maybe he recalls there for the mana. Who knows? My favorite part is the complete obliviousness he has not knowing what Azap is trying to tell him. He just types what up in the chat while Azap is absolutely losing it. Speaking of ping changes, I actually saw this tweet yesterday talking about how we should add a positive ping, like when someone does a sick outplay or something and thought it was actually a good idea, until I realized people would probably just use it for sarcasm. Like, when someone misses smite or misses a skill shot, they just good job ping you. You really can't have nice things in this community. Because we can't ping people alive anymore if they do a good play, which I actually used to do. Uh, it was a really good feeling getting an outplay and being pinged on, but can't have that anymore. Uh, up next, we have one of the most satisfying pentakills by none other than Nemesis in his Korean solo queue climb. And on Twisted Fate, not a champion you see a whole lot of pentas on. Check it out. This is such a lost fight. I don't know what I'm tipping. 
<laughs> okay, did I get quadra or penta? What even happened? And lastly, Kadril got sent this absolutely hilarious Malzahar voiceover clip and I just had to show you guys. Retro, check out this new Malzahar voice update. Minions have spawned. <laughs> that was actually so good. I didn't expect the ult. Anyway, that all about do us for the day. Sometimes there's just fuck all news and I've just got to show you guys interesting stuff I found around on the internet. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. As always, I fully credit everyone or everything I show in my video. So be sure to support the original creators if you like their stuff by checking out the links in the description. Oh, and also this weekend I'll actually be at PAX in Melbourne. So if you guys see me, make sure you come up and say hey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.